Good morning, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Today is an exciting day. We are going to be reacting to awards websites, the best ones out there. And I said we because we have a special guest. Ow! It's me! <laughs> and I also want to thank today's sponsor. Developedbyed.com Wow, what a fantastic platform. We're just so lucky to be sponsored by him. They're wild there. I heard they have good stuff. I heard that they've got really affordable courses in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React, and more. I wonder if they're all project-based. I think they are. That's just fucking fantastic. <laughs> Check it out. All right, so here's the list of the top most popular websites on awards, and you can pick whichever you want. Let's dive in. Let's do like a wave. Jesus. Ooh. Jams. Okay, so we're looking at music. And these are album covers, I'm guessing. That's a cool effect right there. Ooh, do you know what this reminds me of? What does it remind you of? Like when you're in a music shop and you're just taking your time, flicking through all the vinyl records. Yeah, that's such a good observation, actually. <laughs> Thank you. How did you come up with that? <laughs> uh, we'll say a bit pixelated. A bit pixelated on the covers, especially since this is the main selling point of the website, right? It's the vine. There's, there's literally nothing else, right? This is the whole like focus effect. Mm. That's very good. I'm telling you right now, this is more about, you know, a feeling rather than 100%. super like clear on what you are and who you are and what you do. So looking at this animation, I would say that this is um, GSAP would be yeah. A great way to do this whole loop effect, right? Mm-hmm. Ah, okay. So we were right about it being about vinyls, yeah. right? Um, or having that vinyl aesthetic to it. Cause, ooh, this is very cool. So when you scroll, it's turning round. Again, GSAP, I would say. Mm-hmm. I think if you haven't touched GSAP, you should. It's really, really fun. Um, We've actually done some GSAP yeah. tutorials, right? You've got... 100%. You, you've got quite a yeah, few. Yeah, yeah, I got quite a few. It is one of the funnest libraries mm -hmm. to do with animation. So yeah, check those out. Let's just search up Dev at GSAP. You're probably going to find a couple of videos. Can we also appreciate that they added a small hole there at the, at the center? It's <laughs> yeah, and the text, how it would be along the vinyl as yeah, well. Yeah, it's really cool. Well Ooh. done. Yeah, let's go back to the main page. I like the way coastal, coastal world looks like, so I want to see what that's about. Cute! Ooh! Bye! Merci, Michel! Say it in the, like, sexy French. Merci, Michel. Merci, Michel. Mm -hmm. The font reminds me of Fall Guys. And, yeah... And the actual Do characters. You know what? Really... And the actual characters. <laughs> I was gonna say, um, Animal Crossings, right? Yeah, yeah. It has that animal... But Fall Guys, yeah, it's like what the Fall Guys characters do when you're not bashing yeah. them through yeah. courses. Turn it towards us. I want to do a comparison of how this character looks with the Fall Guys character. I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison here. Okay, cool. Now that you care. Let's get going. Let's get going. <laughs> okay, so I need to use the keyboard for this. Can I... Oh, I can use my mouse. So it has both keyboard and, and mouse support. That's really cool. This is super cute, right? Let's meet some friends who care about the same things that you do. They'll kickstart your financial adventure. Ooh, Whoa! Finance. finance! First things first, tell me what you're most interested in. Let's see, <laughs> what do we care most about? Budgeting! Uh, I it. love budgeting! <laughs> do some B&B. &B. Beach and budgeting. <laughs> <laughs> so it's asking us about what we care the most. So, do you want to read those out? Environment, diversity, oh. equity, inclusion. Family. Oh, well, that's a big one. Giving back. Health and wellness. Yeah, family, I'd say, is the biggest one. So no to diversity and giving back. Oh, they can, <laughs> they can get by. This is the guy, like, it's going to be an awkward boat ride all the way there. And he's not going to say anything and just turn around and say, I fucking love finance. I fucking love it. <laughs> Come check us out. Oh. I've been checking you out all day since I got here. So, it's teaching you finance mm. through a fun game. And you know what? 
I probably would go around this whole island and speak to them all because it is just so fun and adorable. And we did check this out on our mobiles. Totally mobile compatible, right? Yeah, totally mobile compatible. And I love it. I just think this is such an exciting direction mm. that the web is going in, right? All this 3D interactivity, yeah. finance. Finance, you think, boring. Yeah. Not anymore. Not really anymore. Fun. I just really appreciate that there's another avenue that you can take to learn about something educational, right? Because loads of people, like, you could theoretically go on Wikipedia and learn about everything. Mm -hmm. Some people choose videos. They get, you know, visually, it just speaks to them more. So now we have this on the web, too, with 3D kind of making it feel mm -hmm. like a game. So I think that's quite nice. So how how is this made with um, Unity? So, yeah, my guess is that this is made with Unity. Actually, Unity has an extension that you can uh, use to export out mm. your game. So you can build it out in C Sharp and just export it out straight to WebGL, which is a really good feature. That's amazing. Yeah. The future is now. The future is now. I'll pass the cactus to you now, so you pick. You have to hold that there whilst you pick. What? <laughs> 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 you have to hold it up like this in a very Ow. uncomfortable way. And you have to pick the website. I've just been to the gym. I'm not that weak. Or the cactus is not that heavy. <laughs> the cactus is shaking. <laughs> oh. oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> okay, what's this bit? Can I put it <laughs> no, <laughs> put down? Okay, so let's check out. Oh, a paper portfolio. Okay. Ah, wow. Wow. Oh, doesn't that remind you of like um, in cartoons where it was like, like Spider Man, right, with the newspaper whizzing oh, in? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna add the sound in here. What she's talking about. Okay. And I'll add it on the paper effect too. Really cool. Yeah, but that's exactly how it is. This just shows like with the right font, the right images, use up all the space you want. Look how great this works. Exactly. Look at the margin. It's like your pinky toe that would fit in there. I mean, if he's trying to show off his work and how creative he is, like he's done that already. And we've what been on here for like mm -hmm. 15 seconds. Isn't it funny? It's, it's not really a conventional oh website that you normally see. I, I'm gonna put up a couple of examples of how normal, like what you see day to day uh, on the internet these days. With loads it's of all, spacing, yeah. right? Very, loads of the images that are used, I feel like are quite uh, generic, aren't they? Look, won't judge too harshly. Do we do that? Do we use a lot of white space to get something looking sleek? Yeah, yeah because it does work and uh, mm. usually giving that room to breathe, mm -hmm. I think does work. Mm. But like you said, it can be like a sea of white space because everybody tries to jump. We all take inspiration from mm -hmm. each other, right? Yeah. But then it comes to a point where every website starts having the same trends to it. So a lot of mm -hmm. white space. Gradients. Yeah. What are those characters called? Those big ones. You know, uh, they're really co they're really cool, but it's just to that point where like everybody's using them, right? Yeah, you have your Andra. Type. Can you put that on the screen? Yeah, that can be done. Hundred percent. They're really nice. They're really cool. It's just that everybody and their mother has used them right now. <laughs> mother. And their mothers. Their mothers are using them Is too. Your mom using it. Call Susan. <laughs> um. <laughs> like I said, there's nothing wrong with that and it does look really good, but then when you see this, right? Yeah. It's like, wow, something so different. And, you know, there are certain websites that fit in certain categories, right? This would never work as a shop. Never. Clothing yeah. shop, right? Mm -hmm. Well done, Miranda. Miranda, this... you've got it going on. That's my favorite. How about you? My favorite so far by Easily. Mile. Yeah. Easily. Something. Umami land. Oh, umami. By Media Monks. I was gonna say Unagi by Ross, but. <laughs> <laughs> See Unagi. What was that when he was karate? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, we should. <laughs> this has actually started. Ooh, okay. Okay, so quickly, just before we get started, the cool thing about awards is you can actually get a little snapshot into their design process, mm. um, technologies they used. Mm. The I, color scheme, which I think is a really nice touch that they've added, right? Ooh. So look, font and color. 
Roboto. Groundbreaking. <laughs> <laughs> they went real wild with they this one. They went ham on this. That's so strange. I cannot tell if that's 3D or if it's 2D. That, I, that, that is definitely there, 3D up there. Yeah, but the background. Yeah, it's a weird... Um, I know. It's like a 2.5D. I think that's just it? an image, right? So is this like exploring <laughs> Japanese cuisine or something like that? There's one thing about strawberries in Japan. They're really expensive. Thank you for that fact. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. The faku. <laughs> it's a the faku. <laughs> yeah, the joy of Japanese cuisine. That was my thought as okay. well. Mm -hmm. yeah. So I feel like it's like an educational, fun experience. Yeah, come Learning on. the flavors of Japan. Oh, this would be such a... Like, if I amazing. were a child, this would have been... Poof, would have been Can perfect Can you imagine for... if this is what the internet... Well, the internet was like when we were little. I know. Oh, that is the coolest. That thing. is such a good <laughs> oh, micro transaction. Micro transition, not transaction. Transaction. <laughs> <laughs> I just paid them with my heart. Huh? That is, that has to be one of the coolest effects I've ever seen. No joke. Cute. Did you see the chopsticks? Oh, ouch. Oh, this is really cool. This is amazing. Oh, everything's been thought of, right? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling super inspired now, right? Absolutely. If there's one thing I would try to replicate from what we've seen today, mm. it would be... Oof. Yeah, tough one. Making, Loads of nice I stuff. think making like a nice 3D interactive experience. Oh, okay, that's a good one. Because that's gonna be a real challenge. I've never used yeah. Unity before. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good yeah. one. That's your pick. That's my New Year's resolution. Oh. Early stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's almost December, you better I get know. cracking on. Okay. That's yours. I, For mine, I'd say, has to be those small little micro animations that they've done on that Google, mm -hmm. the Japanese cuisine one. I don't know, it's just something so different that I haven't seen before. I'm just fascinated by it. I think if you do struggle a bit with the creativity side mm -hmm. of programming, mm -hmm. coming to awards is like one of the best things you can do and try and recreate what you see mm -hmm. because you will learn from muscle memory. You'll be like, okay, this placement looks good here. Exactly. Don't mix these fonts. Especially as a developer that kind of gets used to making the same stuff. I feel like awards really does a great job at, at pushing it to the limit, like mm -hmm. er everything right? when it comes to 3D or even like a small animation or how you can do, uh, what you can achieve with fonts, right? They really kind of stretch it out and push it to the limit of what can be achieved with them. So, well, that's going to be it. Summed up for us. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Would you be up for doing one of these again? I'd be up for it, yeah. All right. So if you guys want to see one more of these, maybe we can make it a series where we do kind of react episodes on awards websites or any type of websites. We'll see in the future. So another time, we want to thank you. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. We appreciate the support. And yeah, until next time. Ciao. Don't show my slipper. <laughs> ciao. Bye. Did you say ciao? I don't remember, did I? It was a blur. <laughs>